Hello everyone, this is Owen with Shift Click Learn, and welcome back to the 11th episode in my Space Shooter series. Today I'm going to be adding a way to respawn. So let's hop right into it. Okay, this is our space shooter game. We can move around, shoot the asteroids, there's golden asteroids that spawn, there's health crates and aliens, all sorts of awesome stuff. But, as you can see, we lose all of our health. Well, we can't move around and nothing happens and we kind of just stuck and if we want to play again, we have to press the green flag, which is not what I want to do. So today I'm going to fix that by adding a way to respawn. So I'm going to make a new sprite and name this game over. Next, I want to name this costume that we're on text and then I want to duplicate this and name the next one background. So we have two two costumes, text and background. I'm going to start with the background because it's the easiest and I'm just going to draw a square and what I want to do is make sure this has no stroke and a perfectly white fill like so. Now onto the text which I'm going to type game over in all caps and I want to change this to a red color like this and then of course it's going to be the pixel text. Next, I want to copy and paste this and type space. That way it lets the player know that you need to press space to move on to the next step. So, and then I'm going to change that to a white color and then size it down. Next, what I want to do is center that and then I'll use the arrow keys to move it down so it's perfectly in the center. And as you can see, now we have this nice graphic. Next, I'll just select all of this and center it and then type 00 onto this. And as you can see, that's what it's going to look like, of course, with a background also. Now that we have those two costumes done, we can start to code it. The first thing I want to do is do a when I receive the start set size to 100% and then hide. And then I want to wait one second and then do wait until block. Player health is less than one, which means zero, which means we probably died. I want to go to zero, zero and create clone of myself and the clone is going to be the backdrop. We'll worry about that later. Then I want to do go to front so it's in front of everything and then wait one more second to let the clone do its animation which again we'll do it later. Then go to front again then show switch costume to text because we don't want it to be the background and then set ghost effect to 100%. So this is going to be this sprite is going to be hidden because the ghost is 100%. Then I want to do repeat 25 and make it fade in so it's nice and smooth. So repeat 25 times, change the ghost effect right here by negative 5. Then last but not least, I'll clear the graphic effect. So this is kind of the setup script and then this is a simple fading script. Next what I want to do is wait until the key spray space is pressed so that way it knows okay well they want to restart now then to polish it up a bit i'll set the size to 90 percent and then set it back to 100 and then add a wait time in between that so i'll probably just do a 0.2 second wait time in between there and then after that i'll do a wait 0.1 seconds like that and this will just basically make it when we press the space key actually i'll click on it right now watch this Boop. As you can see, it kind of just does a little animation that looks pretty good. Finally, what I'll do is go to the events here and do a broadcast message and change this broadcast to start right here. Finally, I will set that score to zero. And boom, we have this whole little script here going for us. So if we test this out now, let's just play around and I'll actually pull out a variable and set this player health to one right here. So now we have one health, as you can see, which is nice and simple. So now I want to get killed and see if this thing works. So as you can see, this thing fades in, which is good. We can't move. And then if we press space, it should restart. But then it starts going crazy because, yeah, it's just going crazy. So to fix all these crazies, what we need to do is, first of all, go into the player here and do an if statement over this kind of physics script. And I want to do if the game over right here is equal to no that way we're not dead and we can't move around when we're dead then i want to go into the asteroids and and do when i receive start here delete all of the asteroids so it kind of just resets it that way we don't have to worry about other asteroids and then i'll just duplicate that into the medium asteroid so it deletes all of them and then last but not least the baby asteroid and then the 
golden asteroid. That way, any ones that are already there would be deleted. Okay, now I'm into the alien AI, as you can see, and on this script right here that says when I receive start, set the alien amount to zero, all that stuff, I want to put a delete this clone at the end, that way it deletes the clone, and then, oh wait, we forgot to do something. If we go into variables here and we see this alien bullet here, as you can see, this is all the expositions that has ever been in this thing. We want to reset it at the beginning so it doesn't just take up space. So in when I receive start, we can go ahead and delete all of alien bullet X and alien bullet Y, and then we can set, make sure you set the alien bullet list counter to zero otherwise this whole thing won't work so now we should be pretty glitch free as i think okay so i'm gonna test it and as you can see there's two asteroids three asteroids now and if we press space there is a lot of asteroids now let's check let's see what's going on here so right here on the when i receive start and the hide i just want to delete that total asteroids and set it over here okay so i think a way to fix some stuff is on when I receive start here, wait one second before we actually start creating clones of myself. So right now we have one, let's just give it some time. And then we set the player health to one and we have like a bunch of asteroids and then we restart and we have zero asteroids. Okay, so this is working good now. But if we get a alien wave to come like this, as you can see, and then we set our health to one and then we get hit by one of the aliens, watch this. Boop. When we press space and we restart, it does alien wave defeated, which I don't want that. I want it to be to where it doesn't say that because we didn't really defeat them. We kind of just died and then they deleted themselves. So in this wave indicator here, I want to change it to where it checks to make sure that we didn't die and then do it. So to do this, I want to make a new variable and name this restart and then with a question mark, of course, and do for all sprites. And then I want to head back over to the game over script and I want to do when I receive start here, I want to do set the restart here that we, the variable we just made to Yes, because when we first start, we're restarting, obviously. Then I want to wait three seconds after we're done the variable, and then we want to set that to no. So in the beginning, for three seconds, as you can see, when we start it, there it says restart is equal to yes, and then it sets it to no after a little bit. So that's the whole script there. So in this alien, the wave, we need to check if the restart is equal to no, because if it's equal to yes and there's a wave, then that probably means that we died So and there was a wave. So we need to make sure that that is, if the restart is equal to no, which means we've been playing and we wanna put that over this whole thing under the wait until right here. Make sure that you pull this alien wave to no and put it right there. But now, as you can see, wait for the alien wave to spawn to see if we get one spawning in here. Oh, here we go, we got a wave now. And then we set our health to one. Let's test this out. Oh no, we died. Okay, and we do the game over here. And then we restart. We should, oh, there it goes. You see that? We restarted and it didn't say the alien wave defeated because we didn't actually defeat the wave. So now I need to make sure that the, it works the other way around. If a wave does spawn and we do beat it, then, oh, here comes one. What I'm trying to say is I want to make sure that it doesn't, it still says alien wave defeated if we actually defeat it, not just by not defeating it. So here we go. I'm, I'm about to beat this wave. Come on, come on. Oh, alien wave defeated. As you can see, we defeated it. And let's just try dying here. Ouch. Pew, 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 pew. And oh no, there's an asteroid. Ugh. And then game over, it works. And now there's an alien wave incoming, perfect. And then we press space and it spawns too. That's not good. Well, here's what I want to do. Is in the alien AI, when I receive start on this whole thing here, I want to do repeat like 10 times. And then up top here, just wait like 0.1 seconds. So it's just going to do this several times in the very beginning just to make sure that there's no more aliens spawning just in case to really make it foolproof because once in a while it does happen like that other one i just showed you so that's a simple thing you can do to fix it another thing is if you notice when the wave indicator popped up it was in front of the game over which is not what i want so in the game over here i want to instead of go to front i want to do go to forward three layers so it still should be at top if a wave was to happen. So let's test that out. 
is still up top of everything as you can see but it should not be up top the the text so now we have to deal with that clone that we've been creating this clone i want to be the background so i'm going to do when i start as a clone show of course switch costume to the background set the ghost effect i'll just duplicate this actually over here set the ghost effect to 100 percent and then repeat 25 times change it by negative two because we still want it to be opaque and we want to do go to front layer on here and then last but not least go to zero zero on the very very bottom then i want to do when i receive start duplicate it once again and i want to do delete this clone that way it gets rid of that background and let's test this out real quick. So when we start, and we can set our player health to three, and let's try getting hurt. Oh no, it's Bastard. Ah, and there we go. As you can see, the background fades in, and everything is in the correct layer. This background is in front of him, and if we press space here, as you can see, it restarts the game. But did you see that, guys? It actually spawned a wave, and then it defeated the wave right when we started. So in the wave here, we have the forever loop of spawning the wave. And I want to do over all of this and make sure that over this, I want to put an if statement. Then I want to do a game over and the restart. And I want to actually pull out two equals here and an and. And then what I want to do is put the game over and I want to make sure that both of them are no. So I want the restart to be no and the game over to be no. And I want to put them both in the and statement. So this is checking a lot of things. Then... If all those things are equal to yes, which means we're not dead and we haven't just started, then we'll able to spawn a wave. So that should work a lot better. Let's let's test this out with just like a four second wait time. We have the alien wave incoming, of course. And now let's try just dying. I'll set the player health to one and oh no, we're gonna die. Okay, and now the game over is equal to yes and now if we press space it should go away and we restart okay yay look at that guys we're we're starting to get this to be working very awesomely so we have the alien wave incoming we have all this good stuff we can still defeat the alien wave of course because that's part of the thing and voila as you can see we have the alien wave defeated that still works that's good okay one last thing to polish this up even more is to go into the coin and as you can see here we have this little bobbing script that makes it go up and down i want to pull that into the game over so now this thing will just go up and down and up and down so let's set the player health to one and let's just show you guys so we get hit ouch and now we have the game over here and it bobs up and down kind of just gives it that retro pixely feel and now we click it and we restart which is amazing and it'll infinitely go you can play as many times as you want which is good and everything works properly thank you all so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this is kind of an important episode because once you die you want to be able to keep playing because that's kind of silly just to sit there once you die and yeah, it's not really entertaining once you die, but now, once you lose all of your health, you can respawn infinitely, which is amazing. So, I'll just show you guys one last time here. So, we have the alien waves, and this kind of proves that it works here. And we get hit here, ouch. Ooh, there's a health crate. Oh, I not, need to not shoot it for the demonstration. Oh, no. Oh, I got hit, ouch. Okay, we're down to one health. I'm going to shoot that asteroid. No, 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 I'm going to die. And then it fades in, as you can see, and it's really nice and smooth. Everything is good looking. And what's even cooler is look at our background. Everything is still running in the game, which is something I've never been able to do before because normally I have to stop it because it would glitch out. But look at this. We can keep the background running. So it keeps spawning asteroids. They keep floating around. The aliens will keep like shooting and moving. And then once we actually want to play again, you can just press space and it deletes all of them and you can just keep on playing. So this is one of my favorite way to restart a game. I've never done it before, but I hope you guys liked it. If you didn't, then smash that like button and consider subscribing. But anyways, this has been Owen. I'm out.